What's up everybody? It's your boy Drone X Factor and in today's video I'm going to share with you the four best ways for you to use tripod mode and the DJI Mavic Air and the DJI Mavic Pro and any other DJI Phantom drone that comes with tripod mode. Are you ready? Let's go. Number one, new flyers or indoor flying. Whether you're a new flyer or whether you are flying indoors, you will love tripod mode. Beginners or new pilots tend to push on the sticks. We have to move the controller gradually and go through slow movements. And if we push these sticks all the way up, these drones can book it. Tripod mode helps you to solve this problem because even if you jam these sticks in tripod mode, guess what? The drone's movement gets very slow. Doesn't matter which direction you jam any stick in, whether it's elevation, whether it's landing, whether it's rolling right, whether it's rolling left. So if you're new to flying, and you want to take things slow, jump right into tripod mode. And the same applies if you're flying indoors. Okay, before you fly indoors, two things you want to do. Number one, see these little dots at the top of the corner here? It looks like a speaker. Click on that and go to obstacle avoidance. Hit the green, see the green slider, touch it and take it off. Indoors has a lot of obstacles it and early? it will continue to go off all the time with the obstacles you don't want that so see it's red up there that's what you want take the obstacle avoidance off indoors in small areas sticks down out to start it up all right tell you obstacle avoidance is off gradually go up go right to a gradual effect now you go in here these two controllers and you hit this tripod or tripod mode. Now, I must caution you, tripod mode is not enableable, if that's a word, enableable, when the drone is on the ground. You must take off as soon as the drone ascends to its height. You can then jump into tripod mode and enable it. I'm watching TV. One other thing I forgot to mention, if you're going to be using prop guards, hit these three little dots right here. Yes, make sure you tap on that little drone at the top there and scroll at the bottom, all the way at the bottom to advanced settings and scroll all the way to the bottom to prop guards and make sure you turn prop guards on so that we, the drone knows that the cages are mounted. If not, aircraft may shake during flight. So make sure you enable those prop guards if you're gonna fly with it. That's all, thank you. Number two, photo lineups with your DJI Mavic Air or your Mavic Pro or your Phantom series. Either which way, tripod mode is the way to go. When it comes to lining up, because the movement is so slow, it number one makes it so easy to line up and make sure that you catch what you need to be framed in that shot in there it gives you pinpoint accuracy because of slow movement so 
tripod mode definitely makes your job easier when it comes to lining up and framing images and scenes and whatever it is that you have as your point of interest in that frame. I have tried it outside of tripod mode. The wind was about 15 miles an hour, gusting at 17 miles an hour, and Mavic, my Mavic Air took it or handled it pretty well. I was still able to get the shots. However, when I was in tripod mode, I found it was easier to line up the shot, that's number one, and get the shot that I wanted. Both photos do look almost the same, but if you look at the one that I did take in tripod mode, you will see that it lines up just a little bit better, capturing every single part that I wanted of both trees in that frame. So if you're into photography, drone photography, tripod mode is the definite way to go to make sure that you get what you need in that frame. Number three, slow moving cinematic like shots. If you want nice, slow moving, almost slow motion like, without doing any editing, just nice smooth, still slow shots, especially in tight areas, tripod mode is the way to get it. you're going to go close up to things or between things like I did with trees moving amongst the trees uh, this is what I used to test it I did take off obstacle avoidance because getting close up to obstacles the obstacle avoidance will not help your shot your shot it will actually stop your movement and if you want nice slow movement between trees and branches then you will need to take off the obstacle avoidance Number four, time-lapse video. Tripod mode is absolutely essential. The way to line up that frame before you start recording for a time-lapse video is better to be used in tripod mode, I think, because you can line up with precision due to the slow movement of tripod mode and set your drone in the position, the exact position that you're looking to set the drone in to capture what you want. Once you've lined up your shot correctly, go ahead, hit record, leave the drone there, of course, not unattended. It must be there for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, roughly, from what I've been reading and listening to on other people's videos in order to get an effective time-lapse video. The Mavic Air, in my opinion, burns a lot more battery or at least it seems to me that it burns a lot more battery when it's hovering i feel like this drone was just made to fly from the time you go up in the air this drone is made for fly for flying this would not be my number one recommendation for time-lapse videos because number one the battery life is not that long to begin with and number two this drone does not do well with hovering when it's hovering the battery life seems to go a lot faster than when this drone is moving it seems to me that it's working a lot harder to keep itself still and to keep itself in one position also because it's very small you do not want to shoot time-lapse videos when the wind is very high because this drone will get pushed around and when i did the time-lapse videos if i remember correctly the wind was like 22 miles an hour this drone was getting tossed around as i was looking at it i saw the wind gusting i saw the heavy winds trying to push this thing around and this thing was absolutely fighting and doing its best job to stay in place i think i got about 13 minutes or 15 minutes max yes i do believe i got 15 minutes max flight time while hovering with this thing on that particular day probably because of the high wind but i was still able to get the job done I do hope this video was helpful. I do hope that you do go out there and try tripod mode. Please let me know in the comment section if you will be trying out tripod mode, which one of the four 
uh, applications do you prefer or are you drawn to most or do you see yourself using the most and do keep me posted if you do try it out let me know how you like it guys i'm getting ready to finish up all of these modes the flight modes for the dji mavic air and then i will be reviewing the camera and then probably one last video this is what i have planned right here right now uh, overviewing the entire drone from beginning to ending from all of my videos one final review and wrap up and then i'll be focusing on the giveaways so thank you guys for being patient uh, please make sure you follow me on facebook and on instagram those are my two major platforms the drone x factor uh, do like subscribe all that good stuff hit that subscribe button for more videos uh, let me know in the comment section too if there are any specific things you'd like me to test before i give this drone away because once it's gone i won't be able to test it anymore i will be doing a 2.4 versus 5.8 gigahertz test as a matter of fact i already have the footage i just need to sit down and edit the video before i share it with you because one of my subscribers did ask me to do this and it's been a while so i will be reviewing uh matter of fact i will be releasing that video next i hope this video was helpful guys please like subscribe and once again thank you to all my patreons for your support on my patreon website every dollar counts i do appreciate it uh, helping me to become a full-time youtuber uh, doing what i do on a daily basis and making these videos which i love to do because i am passionate about drones is definitely a challenge based on my schedule i am making it happen doing it to my best of my ability and i thank you guys for being patient sticking around watching my videos and hoping to win my dji mavic here good luck guys and i'll keep you posted on my facebook and Instagram. This is your boy Drone X Factor and I've got to be finishing this video.